So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to give you an expression, and we're going to rewrite it as a single radical. You're going to love this, and by that I mean you're going to hate this and hate me, but that's okay. I've, you just have to learn how to deal with criticism. So I have the square root of x times the fifth root of x squared. See, so right now, these guys can't be multiplied together. Okay, Even with the property that I'm about to show you, they still can't be written as one without doing a little bit of work. But what we were just talking about at the end of class last time is how I can rewrite these guys using exponents. So how can I rewrite this guy using exponents? X squared. It's not x squared because the square root of x is not the same as squaring something. X to the first. It's not x to the first. Are you going to tell me that the square root means just to the first power? Oh, that's right. that's it's, it's x squared. Remember, this is understood to have an index of 2. The denominator is the index, so x to the 1 half. Yep, that tells me we should be studying this a little bit more. What about the other piece here? This is going to be x to the what power? x to the 2 fifths power. Right? It's not new, because that's what we were talking about last time, how we could rewrite things using exponents. Now. In case you guys may have forgotten, I know you guys don't ever forget anything. Hashtag sarcasm. If I have x to the a times x to the b, what do you do when you multiply? Add exponents. You add the exponents, right? So that means even in this example, you would add exponents. You do not add that does not become a, an addition. Multiplication does not magically turn into addition. What it does allow you to do is to take these exponents and add them, like this. Okay. And now that you've got this, well, it's, it's easy, right? You just have to add fractions. Yep, what's the common denominator? So the common denominator is 10, so this is x to the Let's see. What does this first guy become? 7 tenths. 5 tenths. Hmm. That guy becomes 5 tenths, and the other guy becomes 4 tenths. So all together I have x to the 9 tenths, but the instructions say to write as a single radical, so I've got to rewrite this as a radical. How do I do that? I'll get the thing in that over. How'd you get 5 plus 4? Oh. You put in the missing factors here of yes. 5 and the missing factors here of 2. And, and so we put the thingy with the thingy over the thingy house, mm -hmm. right? The goes outside the house. No, it doesn't. It the denominator, it's the index. The oh. denominator, the it's the house. index. <laughs> well, you do like this, <laughs> like the denominator. And you guys say, mm -hmm. it's the index. <laughs> or you could just nod, and I look like a complete fool. Fortunately, it's just my hand that looks like a fool. So, the denominator is 10, and that becomes the index of my radical. What goes inside? Nine. X to the ninth power. That is the final answer, Regis. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's like that, that formula, um, A. The index is a squared to the. I'm oh sorry. The like the nth root of a to the m. m yeah, right. that's okay. what we were talking about at the end of class yesterday. How we yeah. could go from that's where you the rational it. exponents back to the radical yeah, expression or vice versa. I watched that last night. So that's that was a lot of steps. This is not a lot of steps. You guys want to say it's a lot of steps? I always know when to use that formula though. Well, when you're trying to evaluate you have to be able to rewrite it in a way that makes sense where you can actually work things out. Now I want you guys to see what happened here in this problem. This first step of writing from radicals into a form of exponents, that was new to this section. Using this product rule for exponents, that was 0308. Adding fractions was 0306. 5 plus 4, that's like 3 years old. <laughs> then going from exponents back to radicals, that was this section. 
So only the very first and the last steps were this section. Everything else was based off of what you've already seen. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of steps. <laughs> and you know what? It's fewer steps than going up the stairs. Okay. So you call that find the, the least common denominator. No, right? write it as a single radical. I'm just asking you to take this expression and condense that and write it as a single radical. Now uh, let's try another one. Yes. Makes sense. Thank you. See, I like doing this. How about the fourth root of x to the third divided by ba, 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 the cube root of x squared? Do I have any erasure? Do I look like someone who makes mistakes? I'll tell you what. Yeah, Juan's got everything. Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? How about some paper? Oh, I'm sorry, they're not here, but they're watching videos today. Called you out on it. What up? <laughs> now, oh. let's do this just like the last one. How do I rewrite this, not as radicals, but as exponents? All right, now we're bringing it strong. We just had to get warmed up, right? Over X to the three fourths over what? X to the two thirds. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. Now, this kind of reminds me of something that we did back in. 0308. I'm dividing. So what do I do? Do I have a fraction divided by a fraction? No. My rules for exponents. If I have x to the a over x to the b, I take the top exponent minus the bottom one. So that means it's not a fraction divided by a fraction, but it's going to be 3 fourths minus 2 thirds. Right? And then we get a common denominator here. What's the common denominator? 12. 12. So what are your numerators? Uh, 9 over 12 minus 8 over 12. So 9, and that guy's going to give you 8. How did we get that? Well, this guy was missing a factor of three. This guy was missing a factor of four. So we have x to the one twelfth. I want to write this as a single radical. So what does that guy look like? Twelve to the square of x. Twelve. No, we say the twelfth root of x. That's how we're going to say that. What do you guys think about that one? Do it again. Do it again. You do the, um, the first one again, too. Oh, notice that we're rewriting as exponents, and I'm using oh. properties of exponents to work this. I'm working with fractions. <coughs> okay? Yeah. And once I get here, the directions say to write as a single radical. This is not a radical yet, but remember, the denominator of your exponent is the same as the index of your radical. Okay. And notice I don't have, where did the one go? It's understood. Right, this is x to the first. It's understood to be there. So I don't need to write that. 